The underground bulbs of wild field garlic are not as big as garden garlic, but if you come across a nice patch, I think they're worth the effort to pick and process and use, especially the way I'm going to show you in this video. It's super easy and super good. Hey, welcome to Haphazard Homestead. I'm Holly Chris. I'm glad you're here. I made a video on using the wild field garlic scapes or flower stalks when they're flexible and tender, but the season for harvesting them is so short compared to the time you can harvest the wild field garlic bulbs from under the ground. If you find wild field garlic as it's maturing and drying down, that's great. On these plants, the weather was hot and dry, so the flower heads never opened at all. You can see how wild field garlic is a hardneck garlic and how the leaves are arranged around that stiff flower stalk. And this is a good distinctive feature of wild field garlic too. Look at how the main bulb does not have cloves like a regular garlic. There's just a bulb and then one or a few side bulblets or little bulbs that sprout off to the side of the main one. Wild field garlic will never make any real cloves like a regular garlic. Here's a batch of wild field garlic I harvested before the flower stalks had developed at all. Using a box like this to hold your wild field garlic when you're harvesting works great. But don't even think about taking that into the kitchen. Even if you live alone, you are going to be in trouble. No, don't do it. Instead, put the whole clump in a big tub of water outdoors and then let that sit and soak for 20 to 30 minutes. When you come back, almost all that dirt will have fallen off. That's so much easier than spraying everything off in the kitchen sink, and it's better for your plumbing, too. Just dump that water in the garden or on your lawn. Here in the kitchen, you can get a closer look at how these side bulbs sprout off of the main bulbs. And you can see how the leaves are arranged around the stalk, too. Another key feature is that these dark green leaves are hollow. Washing all these plants before we process them is kind of a wasted effort. You can see why. Because every one of these plants has an outer skin from the oldest bottom leaf that needs to be peeled off. When that outer skin comes off, that takes care of a lot of cleaning. And then when I cut off the roots, that takes care of the rest. So the whole process is pretty much self-cleaning. You can see I'm putting the main bulbs in one container and the little side bulbs in a separate one. And then I'm putting the green parts aside for a minute. It's tempting to make an assembly line, but for me at least, it's too easy to get these long plants all tangled up. So I just process them one at a time. It goes pretty quick. Then when I'm all done, I go through those green parts again to take off what's nice and tender down at the base. Sometimes those parts can be tough, but just peel off the outer layer until you get to that tender inside core. I use these cut ends for a big batch of soup. I used all the green parts for making soup stock. That's where I boil them in water for a while, then take them out and compost them and use the broth for the base of a soup. In my other video on wild field garlic scapes, Sabine Wanner suggested a good idea, I think, to dehydrate these and then grind them into a powder, but I haven't tried that yet. If you do try it before I do, let me and everyone else know how it turned out down in the comments below. What do I do with those little side bulbs? I like to put them in a jar of leftover pickle juice and turn them into refrigerator pickles. Just set that jar in the refrigerator for a couple of months and then use them. That's super easy and it's really good mixed in with something else like in an egg salad or put on a sandwich. It's great. And now to the wild field garlic bulbs, those main bulbs. I just put them in a jar and cover them with honey. It's as easy as that. My honey here was really cold so it's slow to come out. But that's all you have to do. Put a lid on it and leave it for a couple of months. I do turn the jar over a few times over the next few days at least to make sure that all the garlic gets covered by the honey. What happens is that the wild field garlic bulbs release their moisture out into the honey and the honey moves into the garlic. It's a great trade. I like using the honeyed bulbs on wild greens like on these baby red root amaranth. And if you want something really good, you mix this garlic honey with yogurt and put that on a fruit salad. Holy smokes, that's good. There it is. Let's get a live taste review. 
Oh, that's worth licking the plate. That's delicious. I hope you can find some wild field garlic and get the bulbs from underground yourself. Wild field garlic is a great wild food. I hope things are going well at your place. Thanks for watching. Bye.